Hi guys, Ms. Hargraves here with the measure volume using formulas quiz. You should have a pencil and paper out so you can be working these problems out as I am as well. The first one says the sandbox at the playground is two feet tall. So that's our height, right? The area of the sandbox is 80 square feet. So they already kind of calculated um, the area for us, which remember area is length times width. So they already figured that out for us. So how much sand would it take to fill the sandbox, right? What would the volume be? Remember volume is length times width times height. They already figured out the volume for us, or sorry, the area for us here, which is the length and width. So that's 80 times the height, which is two. 80 times two, I know eight times two is 16. So 80 times two would be 160. I'm gonna type 160 in here and click done. On the next one, which prism has the greatest volume? That means you're gonna to have to calculate all three prisms to figure out which one has the greatest volume. So we have three times six times six. Three times six is 18. 18 times six. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that. 18 times six. Six times eight, go on a date. Six times eight is 48. Eight carry the four. Six times one is six, plus four is 10. So this one's 108 cubic centimeters. And do this one, we have five times five times five. Five times five is 25. 25 times five, well I know, I think of a quarter with 25. If I have five quarters, I have 125 cents. So 25 times five is 125. So now we can get rid of this one, right? Because we know this one's already bigger. Now we have seven times eight times two. Seven times eight, if you're not sure, remember to use your multiplication chart if you need it, is 56 times two. I'm gonna turn 56 times two this way, easier for me to see. Six times two is 12, carry the one. Two times five is 10, plus one is 11. So I have 112 there. So that 108 is gone. Oh, 125 is still greater, so it's not gonna be this guy. And our last one, we have nine times one times nine. Nine times one is nine times nine. So we have 81. So the one with our greatest volume, our largest number is gonna be 125. All right, for our next one, it says the volume of a rectangular prism is 72 cubic centimeters. The prism is two centimeters wide and four centimeters high. What is the length? So they gave us some of the measurements and they're trying to figure out the missing one, which is the length. So remember with our formula, length times width times height is equal to our volume. They're already telling us the volume 72 they told us the width and the height. So we have two times four, that we don't know the length. That's what we're trying to figure out. So I know two times four is eight. This kind of looks like a one. I wanna make sure that looks like an L. There you go. Is 72. So something times eight equals 72. Well, I know nine times eight is 72. So my length would be nine. Or I could do 72 divided by Eight. I'm gonna put a nine in here, click done. And then next, I'll erase as it goes to the next question. Mr. Alvarez, Alvarez sorry, makes a walkway out of three cement slabs. He uses 14 cubic feet of cement to make the walkway. Each square slab has a volume of four cubic feet. How many cubic feet is the middle slab? So we don't know this one. Right, this is what we're trying to figure out. We know that this one's four. We know that this one's four. And we know the total. So we have four plus four plus, we don't know this one. So we can just put, I'll put an S for slab, equals 14. Because we know that the total that he uses is 14. So four plus four is eight. 
plus whatever that middle slab is, is 16, 14, sorry. So eight plus what is 14? Eight plus six. So it'll be six on our middle slab. You could do 14 minus eight. I'll erase as it goes to the next question. Farmer Dave builds a crate to hold vegetables. The volume of the crate is 48 cubic feet. It already gave us the base area is 16 feet. So what's the height? So remember when it gives us that base area, that's the length and the width. So they already told us the length and the width by giving us that 16. Now we're trying to figure out the height. So if we use length times width times height equals volume, our length times width is 16. We don't know the height, but I know that the volume is 48. So 16 times what is 48? Or we could divide both sides by 16. How many times does 16 go into 48? Well, we could do a little bit of guessing and checking. If I'm not sure, I could try 16 times 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, 32. That's too small, but it's close. So I'm going to try 16 times 3. 3 times 6 is 18. That's a good start. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So our height that we're missing is 3. Put the 3 in there. Click done. And next, and I'll erase. Zora has a bag of potting soil that contains 924 cubic inches of soil. Which flower pot cannot hold all the soil in the bag? So again, we're gonna have to calculate each one of these, right, to figure out the volume of each um, flower pot. So this one, we have eight times eight times 10. Eight times eight is 64. 64 times 10, so we're just gonna add that zero on. So we've got 640 there. This one is 10 times 10 times 10. I know 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. We have 10 times 20 times 6. 10 times 20 is 200. 200 times 6, 2 times 6 is 12. Bring down those two zeros. And then we have, move me up there, sorry. 20 times 5 times 10. 20 times 5 is 100 times 10 is 1,000. So it looks like this one would hold it. This one would hold it. This one hold it. We want the one that does not. So we're going to choose the one with the volume of 640 because that one would not hold 924 cubic inches. Click next. find the volume of the figure. So now we have two figures and we're gonna have to find each one's volume and then combine those two to figure out the volume of the entire figure. So first, here's our first shape. We're gonna do 10 times eight times 14. So 10 times eight is 80 times 14. I'm going to do 80 times 14 over here. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 8, use your chart if you need to. 32. My placeholder here. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 8 is 8. Add these up. 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 8 is 11. So for this one, we have 1,000. 120. Now we're going to figure out this one. So we have 10 times 8 times 10. 10 times 8 is 80. 80 times 10, 8 times 1 is 8. Bring down those zeros. So for this one, we have 800. They want the volume of the whole figure, though. So now we need to add those two up. 1,120 
plus the 800. Zero plus zero is zero. Two and zero is two. Eight and one is nine. One and nothing is one. So we have a combined volume here of 1,920 cubic centimeters. Click done. And next, I think we have a one more question left. I'm gonna erase this. Okay, so prism A, that be my pencil, not my eraser there. Prism A and prism B have the same volume, which could be the dimensions of prism B. So first what we need to figure out is what is the volume of prism A, right? And then we'll use those answer choices down there and we wanna find one that matches the volume of prison A. So we have eight times four times five here. Eight times four is 32 times five. So I'm gonna do 32 times five on this side here. I'm gonna make myself a little area. 32 times five. Five times two is 10. Five times three is 15 plus one is 16. So we're looking for 160. So now we need to calculate each of these until we find one that has a volume of 160. So five times four times seven would be our first one. Five times four is 20. 20 times seven, well, two times seven is 14, and then add your zero. So that one's 140, that one does not work. We need 160. Six times 10 times two. Six times 10 is 60 times two. Six times two is 12. And add our zero here, that's 120. Nope. Four times four times 10. Four times four is 16. 16 times 10 is 160. So that one would work. And then we could do eight times four which would be 32 times six. We know that one's not gonna work because we need 32 times five. We had 32 here. So our best option is going to be four times four times 10 because those both have a volume of 160. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please reach out to your classroom teachers or resource teachers, and we're here for anything you need. Have a good day.